these famous men were telling us what they're doing with donkey punch and things like this. Okay, bear with me. Y'all send me on, a, on a ra another rabbit hole because I have blocked out how many phrases men were using. Maybe some of them still use it. Of SA. Now, I did another video. I'm going to uh, tag it in the caption about dead fishing and how men have been making fun of us for graping us, right? Because they, they just keep going. They know we're not there. They're, they know we're disassociating and then they make fun of us for not actively participating in something we clearly don't want to be doing. And they are playing on our trauma responses. So what is angry dragon? Well, before I get into that, this is why it's important. This was in the rap uh, from like a year ago. Danny Master Masterson's DJ name, uh, Donkey Punk, came up in the trial, y'all. There were four Jane Doe's that were testifying. So this article talks about them, but rough pounding unwanted schmegs. He also talked about in an interview about how he'd get a girl in the bed, he'd take, have him take a shower, which is what he did. Y'all, like Cosby, Louis C.K., these dudes, they tell us what they're doing and they hide behind jokes, but they're not joking. And this actually happened in my personal life, and I'm going to get to that in a minute, but hold on. Like I said in the video that this comment is attached to, these guys, they've been, look, they, they've been telling us. And in the last video, I talked about how when I was a RAF guy, all of my coworkers, these bros, would talk about donkey punching. And they talk about the dolphin and how, you know, I was like, what's that? And it's when you, you trick a woman, you basically, without her consent, try to do it up the butt. And then she goes, ah, ah, ah. okay, so let's talk about these other ones. Angry dragon. And this is about to get really disturbing. Okay. If you're not in the right headspace, save this video and come back and watch it when you are, because, uh, I'm not doing okay. And. I, it's too late now, so I want to share this while I actually care before I hopefully can forget about it. And remind me to go back to these dudes loving Girls Gone Wild and this guy, oh, also accused of essay. Um, the, the dude who ruined Janet Jackson's career, also a fan of this. Let's keep moving. Oh, wait, one more. Girls Gone Wild. Danny's in the front and center. So this is a long list of all of the ways they have joked about essaying us. And I, this is for educational purposes. Please don't take this video down. I don't even know if I can tell y'all what this is. But the angry pirate is when he's, mm -mm, I'm going to grow from behind. And then um, spit, this is from Urban Dictionary, spits on her back so that she thinks it's him, mm -mm, and turns around. And instead he does it in her eye, temporarily blinding her. Right? Because she's going to cover her eye like an eye patch because that's so funny. So fun. God. And then he punches her in the throat and she will gargle. Arr! Like a pirate due to her throat being punched. This is what they joke about, y'all. Literally assaulting us. And it's just jokes. It's just jokes, right? This is why I don't find most men funny. They are not joking. Another disturbing one is called uh, Bismarck. I can't, I can't even read it on here. It's basically after you huh on her, you punch her and then you mix the huh and the blood together. I, I want y'all to really take this in right now. This is what they've been joking about. And I say, I've worked in the film industry for many years on set and the PAs that I worked with, the men, they talked like this. Luckily, I worked in the art department, so that was like men and women after I was a PA. So it felt like a much safer space. But when I was a raft guide, all the guys talked like this. They would literally joke. One of them, I'm there, I remember one guy, he was like 35, wore a fake wedding ring because desperate chicks are easier and they love a woman, a man that they, they can't have. So he, so this, this is coercion, y'all. For people who do not understand, tricking a woman into sleeping with you is coercion. When you lie with the wedding ring and prey on her vulnerability or her, I don't know, believing you, you're tricking her. And I remember this guy, and this is why one man can, can set the tone for the whole group. Because even men that were clearly not comfortable with it didn't say anything. It's all men until it's no men. And when the girls, the teenage girls would get off the bus. 
he would rate each one of them about their affordability. The man in his 30s, he's probably 35, I don't know, whatever. This was a different company than the one, the group of guys I worked with who were talking about the dolphin and the donkey punch. And boy, boy, did that prepare me for the comedy world when I entered that in New York and LA. You know, it's funny, as some of the stuff that men have done to me is on this list. The shocker, how many times have men joked about the shocker? Why are you shocking us, bro? You should call it the assaulter, because that's what you're doing. When you're shoving something up our butt, like not easing your way in, but shoving something up our butt just to shock us. Do you understand what that is? I think you do. I think you don't care. There's another one on this list called Golden Shower. And we all know the Golden Shower. But, is it, but it wasn't until TikTok that I realized that I was not the only person who had had a Golden Shower. There's probably been multiple men who do that. But my abusive ex, who uh, graped me multiple times and almost took my life, I caught him doing a Golden Shower on me. And then when I found this community of other survivors on this app and found out that this is actually very common in abusive relationships, the golden shower, because men hate us so much, even when we're not looking, they're pissing on us. Like they get a joy out of secretly hating us in addition to outright hating us. So Danny was doing a donkey punch. My ex was doing a golden shower. I've had the shocker done. Now, I know a lot of these are just jokes, but they're not just jokes. And that's the point. For every man who laughs at this, do you realize that you probably know a man who has done this or tried it on a woman? Do you realize that? These are not jokes. We've been trying to tell you all this. And as one of my mutuals just made a video, men are, need to, to really sit with the fact that most, if not all of y'all, who are straight at least, and who have, or who have slept with women, most of y'all have at, at the very least coerced us. And, and, and you're terrified of sitting with that because the culture normalized it so much that you never questioned it and you actively participated in it. And even if you didn't, you joked about it so that all the men that were actually doing this to us could hide in plain sight and literally call themselves DJ a donkey punch. Like, do you realize how messed up it is that that man felt that comfortable saying that? And then Ashton admitting multiple times, him and Danny, how hot this 14 year girl. Danny even said in an interview that she's hotter because she's 14, not despite being 14, because she's 14, she's more hot. You've been, I can't even read that other website because I'm so afraid I'm gonna get in trouble. The Louisville, so I'm gonna do this. The Louisville plug, using a baseball bat to cram illegal substances up our butts. The hot Carl, where you literally take a dump on us. And then the warm Carl is when you wrap our face with saran wrap and then take a dump on us. Which by the way, is so dangerous to wrap someone's face in saran wrap. But who cares? It's just jokes. And in case you think this is somehow gender neutral, it could be a woman. No, they, you know, defecating on a schmegual partner, especially a passive female's chest. Oh, it's a chest. Sometimes it's a mouth. Sometimes it's a chest. You've got icy Mike, which is taking a dump in a hanum, freezing it, and then ramming it up us. There's always the racist undertones, you know, the dirty Sanchez or the dirty Pierre, which they spell Pierre wrong. What, what is wrong with y'all? If you're gonna humiliate us, at least spell it correctly. There's one on here about a Bronco and how like hitting us and humiliating us and calling us ugly. And then we buck a man off of us and how it's so funny to see us trying to buck someone off of us. There's one on here about a man screwing a really ugly girl. The language in this document is so disturbing, I can't repeat it. And putting a bag over her head. And then when you realize just how ugly she is, you tell her not to tell anyone that you had schmags or you will her. When I was in the film industry, the guys used to talk about putting bags over girls' heads. It's not jokes, y'all. This is what men actually do to us or want to do to us. And this started long before corn became mainstream and on your phone. It's all men.